In this video, we want to introduce the viewer to a concept known as Positrack. People ask, how did you possibly get your mixer to stir up a batch of paper cream that thick? The answer has to do with the type of differential you use when you build your mixer, and the type of blade you use. Mike McCain just used a piece of fence post in the original tow mixer, and that fence post was attached to a differential that only had one wheel powered by the drivetrain. But as it turns out, there is more than one kind of differential you can get. The alternative is known as Positrack. With a Positrack differential, there is a piece added which transfers power to both wheels. The result of making a differential Positrack is that the torque or twisting force from the drivetrain is now shared between both wheels. And why does this matter? Because when I was doing some maintenance on my mini tow mixer, and all of the gear oil had drained away. I noticed that the spider gears in my tow mixer had all been welded together. So I contacted the professional demolition derby crew that had welded up my mixer, who explained that because most demolition derbies are held in rodeo arenas or fairgrounds with the uneven surfaces, that the easiest way to ensure they always had power to whatever wheel was in contact with that surface was to simply weld the spider gears together in the rear differential of the vehicle. Essentially creating a poor man's posit track as they called it. And why does this matter you ask? Because when you use a differential the way it's designed to be, posit track evenly distributes power to both wheels. But when you use that same differential in a tow mixer, you've actually reversed the design of the device in that the torque from both wheels is now transferred directly to the drivetrain, which has been removed and replaced by a lawnmower blade. And in a mini mixer with only half the material to chew up, the result is more than twice the rotational torque on the lawnmower blades. Say what? This is the part where I need to repeat that again. Because all of my mechanic friends have argued with me saying, you don't understand how this works. Positrack does not give you twice the power, which is true in the average vehicle. But when you take that same differential and turn it up 90 degrees and use it as the driving mixing piece in a tow mixer, now the Positrack is working in reverse in that the circular torque from both wheels is being transferred directly to the lawnmower blades, resulting in an exponential increase in the power behind the blades. And when you have a mixer with twice the blades and twice the force, grinding up cardboard is no longer a problem, allowing you to use more than 20% of this fine material in your papercrete mix. A typical run starts in my driveway and goes something like this. I fill the mixer with 50 gallons of water, 15 gallons of paper, and two or three boxes. I break the boxes down so they'll lay flat on the surface of the water, but neither the cardboard nor the paper are shredded. But by the time I get to the end of the block and turn around, everything is pulled up nicely which allows me to simply throw in my five gallons of dirt, which as previously mentioned seems to work best the higher the clay content. Then I head back to the house to pick up the concrete and the cement. You can see in this photo that it really is less than a block to the point where I turn around. And by the time I get back, the dirt has stirred in nicely, at which point I throw in the 80 pound bag of concrete and add two additional coffee cans of quality Portland cement. Then I drive about the same distance in the other direction down to a vacant field, turn around, come back to the house. The whole trip covers less than one half mile and turns that partially processed paper pulp into a complete batch of concrete cookie dough. This works so well that 
for thrills and giggles, I decided to try and make a batch that was 100% cardboard. Which, in fairness, took a little longer to pull. I had to make a complete loop before I added anything else. And turned out very nicely, except that when I was bragging to my neighbor about what I'd done, my wife informed me that the night before, she had emptied the household paper shredder and the junk mail into the bottom of the mixer. So it wasn't quite 100% cardboard, but it worked well nonetheless. Although, I did notice it seemed to take a little bit longer to dry than the paper bricks 